Now time comes to deal with the way we can develop such a topic. As you all know, each essay consists of an introduction, body, and conclusion. Concerning the introduction, we can use some of the following expressions, such as we have nowadays, then in such a blank, we can use the topic sentence. You can see nowadays dropping out of school has become a big or a dangerous phenomenon or problem that hinders, hinders means limits, the development of our society. Of course, there are a lot of causes and consequences of such a problem. So, what are some, and I want you please to underline some, to limit the causes and consequences. So, what are some of its reasons and effects? Also, we can change nowadays with recently. The same topic sentence, dropping out of school, has become etc. Or we can use, no one can deny that. Then, there is no deny that, we are, or we all agree that, it's true that, actually means in fact, also we can change all such expressions with the following one, it needs least to say that dropping out of school has become a big or dangerous phenomenon or problem, etc. When we talk about the body of course, it will be divided into two different paragraphs. Paragraph number one, designed for some causes, and paragraph number two, dedicated for talking about some consequences. When we want to start any or each paragraph, so we should leave a margin. And we can start the first paragraph such as, or like this, many or a lot of or several, these are just synonyms, several students leave or quit or abandon school at an early age for many causes or for many factors or for many reasons. The first one means the first cause and is that, and we should mention the first cause is poverty, is family problem and so on. Number two, another cause behind this problem or this phenomenon is, and we should mention the second cause. What is more, here we have the third cause is, etc. We shouldn't, of course, overpass three causes and three consequences to have certain coherence between paragraphs. We'll move to the second paragraph, of course, designed for Talking about some consequences, here we have obviously, means clearly, there are many negative or many dangerous effects associated, means related to, associated with dropping out of school. To start with, and we give the first consequence, moreover, the second consequence, besides, or what is more, yes, or more than that, and we give the third effect. Conclusion, we have to sum up, to conclude, all in all, does two. So look at such an, an example. So we have all in all as a conclusion, all in all, leaving school earlier has enormous causes and effects on the evolution means on the development of our community, community means society. Thus, to get rid of, to get rid of such a problem means to have or to have a certain solution to such a problem. To get rid of such a problem, authorities and civil society should put hand in hand to sensitize both parents and children about the importance of schooling and to encourage drop out students drop out students to get back to school i hope that this is so clear for you for any questions don't hesitate to contact me on my whatsapp that is in your disposition at any 
time. Thank you so much for your interest.